Hey guys, it's Bilal again, and in this video we're going to take a look at uh, a protection system that a member from HF has made. Uh, it's called .NET Seal 2, and it's made by Aeonhack, and I think most of you guys know who we are. But yeah, let's open the application and see what it does when we first open it. Alright, so we see it opens a .NET Seal uh, form here, and there's nothing really we can do to get past it. It just opens automatically right when you start the application, and we don't know the... Uh, information to log in here so there's nothing we can do here so we're gonna open uh, WinDBG and try to get in another way here so just copy the path of the application and let's open it up in here what we're gonna do as usual put a breakpoint on uh, MS Core WKS press G and load the SOS extension Okay, but now that, that this is done, we I need to tell you that uh, as you saw the application, I'm just going to open it here again. When you open it, it automatically loads this as the first method. There's nothing you can do to uh, breakpoint it before. So if we, there's no message box or anything, so there's not much we can do using the tutorial I showed in the first video. So we need to breakpoint before the application loads, and we can do this by putting a breakpoint on MS Core JIT. So now we see we have a breakpoint here on uh, MS Core JIT the And now if we type threads, we can see two threads here, which means uh, that the application has been loaded and you can see a app domain here. So if we dump this domain, we hopefully gonna see some uh, modules. Yes we are. So there's some information here which we don't really need right now and there's a bunch of modules here that's loaded and most of them are just .NET stuff like system.dll or mscorelib but here we can see our own module here, license loader so if we take this and type dump module mt and the uh, number here we can see some information and we can see some types that are in this module so if we see this type here license loader .my application looks like a good type to start looking at so we're going to take the address here and type dump mt md to get the uh, methods here so here we have a bunch of methods that are in this module or in the type actually I think yeah whatever it's in the application here and we can see this is the first uh, method here the entry point of the application then we have on create main form and this is a good target because we know that the .NET seal hasn't loaded yet before it calls the on create main form so if we take this and put a breakpoint on it BPM, uh, bpmd md and that so now it has added a breakpoint on on create main form so if we press G we can see that it hits the uh, first breakpoint uh, on create main form here so now just for fun if we type CLR stack we can see that this is the top method here because it's the most recent method that's been called but we're gonna go back and dump the module again here right here and if we do this we can see some more uh, types here because more stuff in the, uh, in the assembly has been loaded now so if we do the same procedure again but with the license loader dot form one so dump mt md we see a lot of methods here and basically all of these method methods above here are just dot net stuff to load up uh, a form so we don't need to look at this but here we can see some more interesting stuff and we see here's basically just a bunch of properties methods set and get but here's initialize components constructor and here looks like some license stuff but we're gonna put a breakpoint on the constructor because we know if we do this we know that we had a breakpoint before the not the .NET C loads so take this and put a breakpoint on it ppmd and press G again now we see that we have uh, a breakpoint here on the constructor so if we type CLR stack again just to be clear to you guys we see that this is the last called method so we if we dump the module one last time now 
we can see some uh, interesting stuff here. We see license loader dot license and uh, license guard etc. But uh, yeah, this looks like a good uh, type here to look at. So we can do the same thing here. Dump mtmd, and we can see all the methods here in the license. Bunch of properties. And then there's initialize, show account, some yeah, some other methods here. But uh, initialize looks like the best method to target right now because initialize usually means right when the uh, class is loading. So it should be either in the constructor or the initialize. But we're going to take a look at the initialize because I've taken a look at this before and I know it's in here. So take the method description here. Type IP to MD. Oh right. Uh, basically, we just we should just put a breakpoint on it, not uh, this IP to MD command. Sorry about that. So we type BPMD again with the MD parameter here and the initialize address. Okay, so now that this breakpoint is added, we just want to press G again to go, and we have hit this breakpoint now at the license that initialize. So once again, we type CLR stack to see, and it looks good here. Last method is uh, initialize. So if we type IP to MD and this EIP there, we can see some information, and this is what we're looking for: the method description or whatever it is, the uh, abbreviation there. And we're going to type dump IL and this. So basically, here we have the entire initialized method of the uh, license. And uh, I've analyzed this before, so I know that all you need to do to crack this is just replace the first instruction with a return. So we're just going to do this quickly by going to the editor in the uh, native uh, code here. Just let it work, and yeah. There we go, here's the entire method but in native code. But we're just going to take the absolute first uh, instruction here, type A and the instruction address, so we get into editor mode. And we type ret, enter to uh, exit editor mode and press G again. And there we go, it's loaded. And there's no annoying .NET seal screen in front, so basically we bypass the whole system in with just exchanging one instruction and that's basically all I wanted to show with this video so yeah see ya